Hello everyone. Welcome to the series on best of IPM. I am Jaimin Shah and this particular question is from IPM 2019 QA MCQ section. Pause your video, take your time, solve and then come back for the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free to avail this please click on the link mentioned under the description box below happy learning if a comma b comma c are the real numbers and a square plus b square plus e square is equal to 1 then the set of value a a b plus b c plus c a can take is so basically i need to find out the range for the given expression right now the moment I look at a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 1. The first thing that clicks me is that how can I get this a square plus b square plus c square equal to 1. So the one of the identity that I know is a plus b plus c the whole square. So what do I get here? I get a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times of a b plus b c plus c a this is equal to 1 that is given to me and I want to try to find out this value now I know my left hand side will always be greater than or equal to 0 the left hand side will always be greater than or equal to 0 it is a perfect square is equal to 1 plus 2 times of a b plus b c plus c a right now if you take this on if you take one on the side what will you get greater than or equal to minus 1 and if you divide by 2 this is what i get so a b plus b c plus c a is greater than or equal to half minus half Right, so the first option and the third option gets eliminated. Now I am left with either the second option or the fourth option. Correct. Now what I can do is I can use the another identity which is a minus b the whole square plus b minus c the whole square plus c minus a the whole square. Now I know that the addition of perfect square can be equal to 0 or it can be greater than right so again if i expand this what do i get a square i'll get 2a square plus b square plus c square minus 2 times of a b plus b c plus c a is what i get this is equal greater than or equal to 0 so now if i simplify you know i can cancel this 2 here and now this is equal to 1, I know that. So if I take this expression on this side, I will get 1 is greater than or equal to AB plus BC plus CA or in other word, I will get AB plus BC plus CA is less than or equal to 1 and that is give me my answer, that is fourth option. Now I want you to solve the replica question. Spend your time comment in the comment section and then we will come back with the correct answer. 